Hey guys, it's BroYouWack, and Christmas is coming pretty early as terms of Advanced Warfare, but it's actually been announced that on December 11th, there's going to be a DLC weapon called the AE4 and the AE4 Widowmaker. That's the variant towards the AE4. So you know how in variants in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, how there's the base gun, which is going to be the AE4, but there's also going to be a variant called the AE4 Widowmaker. So they're going to be firing like... I don't know, it's weird, there's no stats, there's no nothing out yet, but all we know is that the first one, the AE4, is going to be firing orange, and that the AE4 Widowmaker is going to be firing blue, so... Give or take what you will if you think the variant's going to be better, but that's going to be coming out on December 11th before the first map pack even comes out, which I think the first map pack comes out January 25th? I think that's the time that they said, so that will be included in the very first map pack, but if you have the season pass, if you already bought the season pass and you're on the Xbox family for the Xbox One or 360, you will get it a month early on December 11th. So it kind of sucks. It, it, it does suck for the PlayStation family and the PC family that they have to wait a month early, but you still have to buy the season pass. It's not like it's just handed out to, to them, but uh, it will be included in the first map pack, and that's when the PlayStation and PC family will get it. But it seems like uh, DLC weapons have been a staple for Call of Duty. In uh, Black Ops 2, the Peacekeeper was the very first DLC weapon and everybody used it the, the day it came out. You did not find a lobby that the Peacekeeper was not being used and it's because it was a brand new weapon. People were excited and it was just, it wasn't a game changer but it just, it, it added a new variety of guns and then in Call of Duty Ghosts, the Ripper and that, a same, and that assault rifle and sniper variant also came out as DLC and people use that a lot too so I don't know, I think DLC weapons, it, it changes the game in a little, little slight sense. It doesn't change or break the whole game unless it's the most overpowered gun of all time. I think it's just a little, it's a fun, it's a fun thing that they add. You don't have to buy it, you don't have to get it if you want to do well in the game. It's just there if, hey, if you want another, I think this is going to be a heavy gun, no, this is actually assault rifle. If you want another assault rifle, if you want to play around with it, then go ahead. If you don't, then alright, you can use the HBR or IMR or just pick it off the ground but I think it's kind of fun but maybe you think differently let me know what you think about DLC weapons and Call of Duty and what, let, let me know if you're excited for the AE4 and if you're going to be getting it uh, whether it's going to come out on December 11th or a month later with the very first map pack. I actually want to hear from you. Uh, I want to hear uh, how this is going to be playing out if you're going to be getting it. So anyway, that's my time. Just wanted to bring you this short little video. Check out the other videos I'm making for Advanced Warfare there. It's getting pretty spicy. It's getting pretty spicy if I could use one word from a terrible, terrible adjective list of words. Uh, but hopefully things are going great for you in Advanced Warfare. Hopefully you're excited for the AE4 and Widowmaker. And I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your day and bye.